Hey everyone, today I'm working on a 2013 Chevy Silverado 2500. This is an electrician's work truck that gets abused and has never been cleaned. Just look at the buildup of dust on the seats and the trim, it's insane. Stick around until the ending for the shocking transformation. Oh Strapper, I see what you did there, you're so funny. I know I am little man, let's get into it. Once I got the seats removed, you can see here just how much dust has settled underneath those seats and the center console area. That carpet almost looks gray even though it's supposed to be blue. It is going to be so satisfying bringing this vehicle back to life and make it into new condition again. I started this detail by working on the seats. Uh, they are pretty decent quality which means they take a while to dry and I wanted to give them enough time to dry completely. You can see the layers of dust just melt away as I give it a good vacuuming. The driver's seat here is really beat up. There was actually duct tape holding the outside of it together from the driver getting in and out of the vehicle at job sites. I had to hit this seat a couple of times with the solution and the drill brush because of the level of dirt embedded in it. I also used the steamer on parts of it to remove as much of the staining as possible. There was a spot on the seat base that you can see they're kind of right in the middle that I was just not able to completely remove no matter what I tried. Once those front bucket seats were done, I started working on the middle console seat area. This thing took forever to clean. There were so many compartments and so much cloth that I had to work on. I just focused on tackling one area at a time, going back and forth between the extractor and the drill brush. I think in the end though, it turned out pretty great.
I even made sure to give this seat belt a thorough cleaning. As I tell everyone whose car I work on, I tell them the dirtiest part of your vehicle is the middle armrest. Look at how dirty this clean microfiber is after just one pass. Then I repeat the process and look at how dirty another clean microfiber is on that second pass. Insane. Even the bottom of this middle console area was just covered in dirt and dust. Just look at that kind of white gray table, just how much droplets of grime and, and really black dirt from the cleaning solution falls onto that. I had to pull out the steamer here a little bit to really get that stuff loose and, and really get it cleaned up as best I could. <laughs> The carpets in this vehicle was pretty average quality, but nowadays that's probably pretty good for what uh, the industry standard is. I was able to get them pretty clean just with a good vacuum. The amount of dust that came out of this carpet was crazy. I probably should have been wearing some kind of respirator to prevent breathing in that dust, but you know, once I get rolling on a detail, I tend to forget about those kinds of things.
I even work on getting this toolbox area under the back seat clean as I possibly can. I know nobody's ever gonna see this spot, but it's that detailed perfectionist in me that really wants it to look as perfect as possible. I think the vacuuming on this back seat is probably one of the best shots of the entire detail. You can actually see the layers of dust being removed as I run the vacuum over the fabric. It even had though the worst kind of dog hair in it. That short, straight hair from what I'm guessing is some kind of bulldog. This stuff took forever to remove with the lily brush, but I was able to get almost all of it out of the seat. Like I said, the carpet in this vehicle is pretty decent quality, and the extractor did a great job of removing the dirt and dust from the carpet. Uh, as you'll see when I get to the driver's side well, I did re decide to remove another piece of trim along the door to get at more of the sand that seemed to kind of be stuck underneath, and every time I hit it, it kind of would seep out a little bit more. It's just a matter of finding where the trim connectors are in these vehicles and carefully removing them so that you don't break any of the plastic locking parts. The trim in this vehicle had also collected a lot of the mud and dust that had come into the vehicle, but my all-purpose cleaner and brushes and uh, microfiber towel made quick work of it.
The next step here is to apply some 303 Aerospace Protectant to finalize the look and give it some great UV protection. I have this product linked down in the description below. Order a bottle and try it, you will not be disappointed. I know this is a little kind of out of order here, but I did these floor mats last since they were the all weather kind of the rubber and they really dry out really quickly. The pressure washer makes quick work of them and they end up looking great at the end. finishing touch here is cleaning the glass. Even these window interiors were coated in dust. And there's a little reminder to go on down and hit that like button so you, YouTube algorithm learns who likes this video and who they should share it to so other people can enjoy this detail. This vehicle turned out great. Outside of a few broken pieces and that worn out driver's seat, it turned out almost like new. If you enjoyed the video, go on down and hit that like button, share it to your friends. As always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, keep it clean.